Hey there, so this was a final project for Cook Systems Fast Track program. It's a full stack application for companies to kind of manage manning personnel, teams, projects, um, adding people, crowd functionality. So here we're prompted to log in. Um, I'll enter something that is invalid. So now let's take a look at the database. We got it on create drop with Spring Boot. So we have a seeder. Let's see who we have in there currently. Let's refresh first, hit the user table. Yeah, we're just storing passwords as strings currently. That's okay. So we will use, as you can see, it's all succession themed. Let's see, where's, where's, uh, Here we go. All right, we're gonna use Logan Roy. So this is my company, get your own company. Log in, something to fix in the future if they only belong to one company, just send them straight to the homepage. And here we're at the homepage, you can see they're logged in. They are an admin, Logan Roy. We have announcement cards. And let's go ahead and add a new announcement. We have the back end running right now. So test announcement, Logan Roy. And updates automatically. We are kind of doing a workaround. We're having the page refresh to update that. Um, in the future, we would figure out how to do that without having to refresh the page. Um, by the way, we're using Angular for the front end, Spring Boot for the back end. So now let's go to the teams page. We can see we have some teams populated from the Cedar. Um, so we'll do a team that has zero projects. Uh, we can go back or we can create a new project. So team six, project one, and there it is. Now we can update it. And that change is reflected. And it is also reflected in the database. So projects. So there we go, description, test one, team six, project one, team ID 16, which is team six. And just to make sure. Boom, team six, ID 16, there we go. And these are being handled by fetch requests going on in Angular. We have a lot of com components going on. So that was create announcement overlay, or sorry, create project overlay. <clears throat> so as you can see, this is kind of where we're routing, whether we're gonna do a put request, what um, if we're updating an existing project or a post to create a new one. So here's the update method and here's the create project method. And yeah, you can see we're reloading. So that's creating and updating teams. We can make a new team, um, team seven, test team. And we have a select with options for the users within this company. And as you can see, they get taken out of the options within the select when you select them and then once you click x they kind of get popped back in there which is kind of cool so you can't add somebody twice and we'll create that team and there it is that is being reflected in the database as well so now let's head to users we have a user registry with a nice table here you can see whether they are an active user an admin or status pending so status pending is when an admin creates a new user Ideally, we don't have this implemented, but they would get a default password generated by either the admin or another program going on, and the user would receive an email with their temporary credentials, and then upon logging in, I'll just demonstrate it, they'll be prompted to change their password. So I'll put my name, test email, and as you can see, we've got some checking going on there. It has to have an at symbol. Passwords must match. Um, I'll just make it something I'll remember. <laughs> one, two, three. 
and first name can't be one character. So now all the fields are good to go. Um, that nah, will make them a regular user. So there he is. Doesn't belong to a team yet, and status pending. So let's now log out. And the username it takes the first name, puts the dot between the first and the last name. One, two, three. So now we're prompted to update our password so that the administrator does not know what our custom password is. We're just going to use password. Update does a put request, and now we are logged in as Kieran M. He is not an admin, so you don't see anything there. And we are on the same company. Notice the he doesn't belong to a team, so his teams do not show up. He doesn't have a team page, but he's got a project page. And we can create a new project. Uh, oh, okay. I think that's because we don't have regular regular users with the ability to create projects. So some styling things. This brings you home. This icon brings you home. Let's let's do somebody from a different company quick, and then I'll end this user table. All right. So we got Will's username. Will's password. password password now we have cook systems different company updated right there he's an admin and let's just make sure that that password was actually refreshed in the database will's username and password is password there you go new announcements pertaining to that company specifically um, teams as well. And users for that company.